Hey everybody and welcome to Reaction Diaries. I am your host, Jennifer, and I'm so glad I'm dealing with microphone issues today. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm getting some recording done and uh, just having a blast. I'm having a blast doing this here. Um, this is my new channel, Reaction Diaries. Uh, my main channel is the Speakeasy Lounge. It is also a reaction uh, channel, but we do more popular things over there. And uh, we just, th this channel is, we're trying to make it different. We want to do more not so popular, a little bit obscure. I say the word very cautiously when I say obscure but stuff that we've forgotten about stuff that we haven't heard in forever can you hear me can you hear me now uh yeah just weird the volume hopefully it's good um yeah we want to do songs that you you know from not necessarily it can be new new stuff that maybe is not getting the radio play it should great artists that a lot of people know uh, or that a lot of people don't know, but maybe they know a song or they had a one hit, uh, one hit or something like that. So I hope that you guys will stick around give me some suggestions, leave comments, subscribe, and, uh, let's make this channel work. It's going to be fun. I've got some great stuff in store for you guys. And today, um, if you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reacting to, uh, a group that was, I found as by accident, I was looking for something else, and this popped up. Larkin Poe. Have you guys heard of them? Larkin Poe. It's a group of two sisters, a group. It's two sisters, and uh, they do a bunch of covers. I, I peeked at a couple different ones, and this one caught my eye. Uh, I think I think it's an original. It's called Mad as a Hatter, and I think they, they wrote it about a family member that had lost, that was on all, that has Alzheimer's or dementia, and... Uh, I'm just excited. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know how great it's going to be, but it kind of struck a chord with me because I, before my mom passed in 2015, I took care of her. And there was a time when she, she was on lots of medicine and stuff in the hospital and she would wake up not quite with it or the medicine, she got an infection and it affected her in some ways. And I can't tell you a pain greater than your mother not recognizing you or thinking that you're trying to do her harm um and so it kind of hit struck with me and thankfully my mom we you know was not like that before she left and and all of that but we were good but it, i i understand that feeling so i want to play this and i hope you guys like it if you know much about these guys let me know um, tell me more about them. I didn't research a lot because I didn't want to, you know, bias myself one way or another against the song, against the group. Um, if people liked them or didn't like them, I just thought it sounded interesting for the few seconds that I listened to it. So we're going to jump right into this. This is Larkin Poe, Mad as a Hatter. And I don't know how's the volume. That's all the way up. I, I hope my volume is good because it's sounding to me like... I'm not on it all. All right, let's do this. So are we. Sometimes. I'm going to turn this up. We wrote this for our grandfather. Um, and he suffered from schizophrenia. And I think mental illness is one of those things that's very hard to talk about. It's an uncomfortable thing to talk about. But I think it's something that should be, we uh, should be I open about it. It's really hard to watch somebody slipping away. Especially recently our, our grandmother, our mom's mom has been slipping away kind of into dementia. And so we are going to remember our grandparents when we sing this next one. It's about mental illness. It's called Mad as a Hatter. Mm. Love that. 
that steel guitar. That is what that is, right? I know what time is. Time is a thief. It'll steal into bed and rob you while you sleep. You'll never feel it. It pulls off the covers, rifles through your head, and then you wake to find you can't remember what you just said. Happened. is mind and I can't forget that one fourth of his blood is mine I try not to worry I'll rewind it some, but yeah, wow. Please don't come for me. That's a pretty powerful statement. That's like, you know, just saying, she said that my fa father of my father, and I realized that I'm a quarter of the blood that they can come for me. That is a scary realization.
I'm going to have to go back and look up the lyrics um, for some of it. I couldn't understand all of it. But what I did understand, it was a very haunting... Oops, where'd you go? There you are. A very haunting song. And if you've ever dealt with somebody with the There's a terrible curse that plagues guitar players once they reach the intermediate stage. I call... Okay. Uh, When you deal with someone, a family member that has a mental health issue or something, um, it's almost worse than losing them. Of course, it's not the same as losing them, but you're still losing them, but you're losing them while they're still here, which is bad. But I think, um, you know, I'm no activist. I don't go out and, and, and do this or that or, and you know, maybe I should. <clears throat> but I, I know my feelings and I know what I believe and everything. And I do know her stand what it's like to deal with that. And it's not, it's not, it's a serious situation. It's not fun. But anyway, I think they did a really good job. Please tell me what you think. Do you like them? Have you heard anything else by Larkin Poe? It's the two sisters. And um, when I was looking online on YouTube, they have a lot of covers, a lot of covers. They do a lot of rock covers, um, a lot of different stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to, you know, like I said, not going to do a deep dive or go uh, down the rabbit hole yet. But I might for my own personal uh, listening pleasure. So anyway, thanks you guys for joining me. Please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, whether you liked it or dislike it, tell me why. And uh, be sure to subscribe. We will see you guys all soon. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful for you all. And I can't wait to do another reaction. Anyway, thanks you guys. Let me know how the volume was on my mic. And if I'm still lagging, because I think, I don't know what to do about it. I use OBS Studios for my recording. And it's been fine up until just recently. I've noticed that when the video is playing, it lags a little bit. So let me know about that. Anyway, thanks, you guys. I will see you all soon. It's Jennifer out. Have a great day.